Hello, and welcome to the March 2024 Registry Partners Oncology Coding Break. My name is Janet Rowley, and we will be going over active surveillance. Our objectives for today will be to review the discussion and decision for active surveillance, ongoing care throughout active surveillance, text with related coded fields, other coded fields, subsequent treatment, and case examples. Active surveillance is defined as a first course treatment method whereby watchful waiting is pursued. That means no surgery, systemic, radiation, or other therapy that modifies, removes, destroys, or otherwise physically affects the cancer cells is provided. It is considered a planned first course of therapy, and it's only coded as treatment when there is no other treatment given. It may also be used to avoid treatment that could cause side effects or other issues. It's considered an expectant type of management. It's closely watching a patient's condition, but not giving any treatment unless there are changes in test results that show that the condition is getting worse. Active surveillance may be used to avoid or delay the need for treatment, such as radiation therapy or surgery, which could cause side effects or other problems. During active surveillance, certain exams and tests, such as blood tests, imaging, and biopsies, are done on a regular schedule to monitor the condition. Active surveillance may be used in certain types of prostate cancer and in some other types of cancer as well. Discussion and decision making. Consults. Initial consults by medical and radiation oncologists or other specialty physicians such as the urologist or internal medicine, etc., may provide some initial treatment options, including active surveillance. Within the progress notes, the workup continues, additional treatment options, and based on the current stage and status, may also be discussed at this time, again, which may also include the active surveillance. And in the follow-up notes, there will be completion of all the workup and the return of these testing results. The patient and the physician will discuss these results and then come to the conclusion for the final decision and recommendations regarding active surveillance. Routine exams for monitoring include blood tests, which could be a repeat PSA, imaging, which could be CT scans of the head for smaller size meningiomas or perhaps pituitary gland tumors, in addition to repeat biopsies. Text with related codes. Date. The date of the patient decision for the active surveillance as documented within the EMR progress notes and or the follow-up notes, have the relative coded fields as date of first course of treatment, which would be the same as the date of the decision, and RX summary treatment status, which would be coded to a two, active surveillance or otherwise known as watchful waiting. For the physician name, you would code this in the managing physician field and that is the physician responsible for the discussion and the recommendation for the decision of the active surveillance with the patient. Text with related codes. In the treatment fields, enter text as not done. Relative coded fields would be for all of the other treatment modalities where you would assign code zero, or zero, zero, not done. Other coded fields include surgery of primary site 2023, code 
A000 or B000, scope of regional lymph node surgery, coded also to zero, and again coded to zero the surgical procedure of other site. Reason for no surgery of primary site would be coded to one, which means cancer-directed surgery was not performed and not planned part of treatment as first course. So subsequent treatment. This occurs when the disease progresses or the patient becomes symptomatic and any prescribed treatment following that is considered second course or subsequent. Case examples. Patient diagnosed with CMML. The diagnostic workup showed low blast count and stable cell counts, no cytopenia or splenomegaly. Active surveillance was recommended and agreed upon with the patient. Ongoing care included surveillance with CBCs every three months. The patient's counts remained favorable at first and second three-month checkups. At the nine-month checkup, however, the patient was experiencing a rise in platelet count and a JAK2 mutation was present. The patient is now to begin hydroxyurea. This would mean that the patient is no longer in active surveillance and the hydroxyurea is considered subsequent treatment. Case example number two. A prostate biopsy was positive for adenocarcinoma, Gleason 3 plus 3, or a Gleason score of 6. In two out of 12 cores, the PSA was 4.7 and the DRE was negative for any nodules, which resulted in a clinical T1C. The patient was at low risk. The life expectancy of the patient was greater than or equal to 10 years, thus meeting the qualifications for NCCN guidelines for active surveillance, and the patient agreed to that. The patient went on to follow up with the PSA every six months with stable results through an 18 month period with a repeat biopsy done at one year from the initial diagnosis. The PSA rising at 24 month draw and a repeated biopsy confirmed a Gleason now at four plus three or a Gleason score of seven, which then resulted in a discontinuation of the surveillance and a start of Lupron, again considered subsequent treatment. Another case example, an incidental finding of a pituitary microadenoma. Per the physician, there is no reason to suspect any medical hypersecretion. For microadenoma with no evidence of hypersecretion and normal prolactin level, you would repeat the MRI every two years. Should the tumor meet the criteria for resection due to abnormal prolactin levels and increase in size or increase signs and symptoms causing effect on the patient, surgery or other treatment administered after follow-up would be considered subsequent treatment. An additional example, a surgical resection for lung cancer was completed at an outside facility. The patient then presents to my facility for medical oncology consult where no adjuvant treatment was recommended, active surveillance only, and that continued at my facility. The active surveillance, however, in this scenario is not considered treatment. The patient completed the first course treatment via the surgical resection. Therefore, it's not considered part of first course to assign a class of case 21. The class would be 30 for a consult only. The treatment summary status field is coded as one because treatment was given, not to active surveillance. Thank you for joining me in this coding break. Have a good day.